Hey guys, it's Noreen O'Connor here today on behalf of Sweet Squared and today I've got a little sneak peek of two brand new colours that have just launched, Bloodline and Copper Joe. To help you see what these colours are truly like, I'm going to do a little colour comparison on the six closest colours. First up, we've got Copper Joe and Shellac, so this is beside Berry Boudoir. You can see it's pretty close. The next one is Dark Lava. I'd have to say Copper Joe is kind of in between both of these two colours. They're definitely the closest. The next one I'd compare it to would be Plum Paisley. You can see it now against Dark Dahlia. So Dark Dahlia is a good bit darker than it, but that same kind of undertone. This is it next to Fedora. And you can see even though Fedora is quite brown based, this is a little bit browner than it. But when you compare it to faux fur, you can see it's not quite as brown as faux fur. Next up, we have C&D Shellac in Bloodline. And the first colour I would compare it to would be Oxblood. So you've got that same beautiful cream finish, but you can see Oxblood is a good little bit darker than it. The next one I thought it would be quite similar to is Crimson Sash. They've both got a slight brownish undertone to it, but you can see they're quite different in reality. Crimson Sash is definitely far more metallic, um, whereas Bloodline is has that completely cream finish. Next one I've compared it to is Masquerade. So you can see Masquerade is a good little bit pinker than it. The next one I've compared it to is Rouge Right. This would definitely be the closest in the collection. They look almost identical on camera. There is a slight difference between them. Um, I would say Rouge Right is far sheerer, um, whereas Bloodline is completely opaque. The next one I have it compared to is Decadence, and obviously Decadence is very sheer compared to Bloodline. And the last one here is Red Baroness. I'm just going to show you a little colour comparison in the vinyl looks because sometimes there's a slight difference. So again, we've got Berry Boudoir, Dark Lava, Plum Paisley, Dark Dahlia, Fedora, and Faux Fur. Comparing Bloodline in Vinyl Looks, we've got it now against Oxblood, Crimson Sash, Masquerade, Rouge Right, Decadence, and this last one is Scarlet Letter, which is a Vinyl Lux exclusive, and I thought that was quite close to it too. So I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea of what these colours are like, and if it's going to add something to your collection. And next I am going to show you how I've created two different looks with these colours. So the first up, we've got a little bit of stamping. We've got your typical stamping and a reverse stamp all in one. I love these kind of two-toned looks and I think these two colours work really well together. So I'm going to show you exactly now how I've created it. I'm starting off with a shellac manicure that already has one coat of C&D shellac in Bloodline applied and now I'm just applying the second coat. I'm not capping the extension edge of the nail as I've already done that with my first colour coat. So we're literally just painting the top. And once this is done, we're going to pop it in the lamp on the 2S setting. While that nail is curing, we're going to clean the plate. So I've got a little bit of scrub fresh on the back of a plastic backed pad. I'm going to allow that to dry. And first we're going to stamp with the Lacente Gold Chrome Powder. To minimise any wastage, I recommend that you push and press the powder with a Lacente G1 brush. You don't need a lot of powder to fill up the engraving. So as you can see, I'm pressing and patting and dragging any excess product down the plate. This is going to minimise any waste. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to swipe down twice with my scraper card and you should be able to see there's hardly any excess powder laying on the edge of that plate. And next I'm just going to roll over with the halo stamper and that's picked up the design beautifully. Once the nail has been cured, we're now going to use the sticky top film to adhere the powder to. Simply roll it over the nail and that is the first nail look complete. These two colours work so well together. To do the reverse pattern, you're going to stamp first 
with C&D Vinyl Looks in Bloodline. Swipe down quickly and stamp gently when working with polish. And you can see we've picked up that nice design. Allow this polish to dry. Now that the polish is dried, we're going to roll it over the nail. And as you can see, it doesn't stick to the finger once it's dry. Any little pieces like this will simply flake away with a dry Lucente G1 brush. Using the same Lucente Gold Chrome Powder from before, I'm going to pick up a generous amount on my brush. I don't want my brush to stick to that sticky top film, just the powder, so I'm being quite generous with this. And at first it looks like the nail has been completely ruined, but as you see, when you burnish it in, anywhere where that polish was laying it was completely dry, so the powder actually won't stick to it and you get this beautiful reverse effect. Make sure you remove any excess powder off the nail and really burnish that powder into the surface. This is going to help to create a nice smooth finish and it's also going to stop your top coat from going funny. So don't be afraid to really scrub it. I'm using quite a firm pressure here. Once I'm happy with that, we're now going to move on to top coat. So when you're working with a powder, it's best to use the C&D original top coat Use a generous amount on the underside of the brush and use a floating motion because you don't want to lift the powder up from the shellac colour coat. So a nice generous amount on the underside of that brush and use a floating motion all over the nail. Make sure you encase the whole nail because anything that's not covered in top coat is going to wipe off. So here's the moment of truth and thankfully we've encased everything and we have a beautiful nail look. The second design I've created is using shellac in Copper Joe. First, I'm going to prepare my stamper by cleaning it with some scrub fresh and allowing to dry. I'm going to stamp with shellac because I want to stick some foil to it. I'm using CD shellac in Blackpool as it gives me the stickiest top film to adhere the foil to. You don't need to be too quick as it's never going to dry in the plate, so just a firm swipe in a few directions and roll your halo stamper over quite firmly when you're picking shellac up and I find this gives the best result. You can set this stamper to one side until you're ready to use it. This nail has two coats of C&D shellac in Copper Joe and one coat of Lucente Layer It. I don't want the foil to stick to the shellac colour coat so Lucente Layer It gives us a tack free surface. When stamping with shellac it's very important that you mask off the soft tissue, as uncured gel should never come into contact with it. The best way to do this is to use micropore tape. Have several small strips cut up and on the edge of a surface for easy pickup. I've applied two going down the sides and then you're just going to apply them at angles coming around. As I've applied this I can see I've got a little gap in the corner so I'm choosing to place it across the top and I'm going to do several other strips coming around. Keep the tape nice and tight around the cuticle area to make sure you've protected all of this soft tissue. For clients that have quite a rounded cuticle, you may need an extra piece of tape or two. And as you can see, we've got a nice masked off surface and now we're ready to stamp with the shellac. Pick up your stamper from earlier, roll it over nice and gently, and you can see how well that tape has protected the skin. Simply remove this and now cure on the 2S setting in your LED lamp. Once your nail has been removed from the lamp, I'm going to take some sunset chunky glitter. This is what I'm going to place into the centre of my flowers. So all I'm using is the sticky top film to adhere them to, and look how much they shine. This is a great option for clients who are pickers. Next, I'm going to use this holographic stair foil from Lucente and I'm going to press it into the nail all over. Even though this nail foil has a pattern, I just love that holographic effect that it gives. Finally, we're just going to finish off with some C&D shellac top coat. With this one is the original formula and once it's applied, cure on the number three setting. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, please subscribe to our channel for more and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.